Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Monday, October 22nd. I want to welcome you back to our daily video cast, and I hope everybody had a great weekend. Let's begin today with uh, the New York Daily News. On Friday afternoon, I received a phone call from the new TV editor, Don Kaplan, asking which new shows that I thought were currently on the fence. Now, remember, two so far have been canceled, which are Made in Jersey on CBS and Animal Practice on NBC, so I gave the Daily News a listing of six new series that I believe could be canceled in the near future. And the list began with Partners on CBS. I know David Krumholtz will not be happy, but I just do not think this is going to last. He and I are currently in the middle of this big Twitter battle. Next was The Mob Doctor on Fox, on NBC Guys With Kids, on ABC 666 Park Avenue, and there were two on the CW I gave the Daily News, which were Beauty and the Beast and Emily Owens, MD, which only aired one episode so far. Now, once I gave the Daily News the item, next thing I know, I received news that ABC has ordered more scripts for 666 Park Avenue, which of course could mean they will order more episodes. I'm still not convinced this is going to work. The network has also ordered more scripts for Last Resort and kooky sitcom The Neighbors. I personally thought The Neighbors would be the first cancellation of the season. It's not doing all that badly. It's not a hit, but it's not a huge miss either. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Now let's go back to ABC. They have officially announced the cancellation of Private Practice, which is not a surprise. The show was spun off from Grey's Anatomy five and a half years ago. The network only ordered 13 episodes this season. They moved it to Tuesday last spring to make room for Scandal. And it never really was a hit show. It always relied on the strength of Grey's Anatomy. It's going to conclude in January after an estimated 111 episodes. Over at Fox, The Mindy Project. Now, the network already announced they've ordered nine additional episodes, bringing the episode order up to 22 for season one. For whatever reason, they've extended that order to 24. Now, this is a show that's not performing right now out of New Girl, but if the network wants to be patient, they apparently like it, and they're giving it 24 episodes in season one. In the world of syndication, I have news on a potential new tabloid news magazine called OKTV, OK based on the magazine OK from American Media. Now, they are the publishers of National Enquirer, Stars, OK Magazine, and they are going to introduce this half-hour weekly, and they'll be hoping to get clearances, that will focus on pop culture, celebrities, gossip. It's five days a week, a half hour, with a one-hour weekly. Now, keep in mind, there's no guarantee this is going to succeed. In 1999, the National Enquirer spun off a TV series with the same name, the National Enquirer from MGM. It aired for two low-rated seasons. Now, let's go to the weekend box office. Sometimes you have to talk about more than television. The highest grossing film for this past weekend was Paranormal Activity 4 with 30.2% million dollars gross at the box office. Certainly not shabby. In the world of weekend ratings, I'm not even going to talk about prime time on Saturday. It doesn't pay, but I will say that Saturday Night Live um, averaged a 5.2 in the overnights, actually a 5.4 rating and a 14 share in the overnights. The host was Bruno Mars. This show is going to last forever. On Friday evening, CBS was the most watched network, 8.2. 36 million viewers, and ABC and Fox tied for first among adults 18 to 49 with a 1.7 rating. Worth positively noting on Friday in particular, Shark Tank on ABC rose to a season high in over, uh, with over 7 million total viewers and a 2 rating among adults 18 to 49, which for a Friday evening is very positive. You know, at this point, I have to wonder about ABC moving Shark Tank to 9 o'clock. You know, they're bringing in sitcoms, Last Man Standing for a Second Season, and the new Reba Half Hour, Malibu Country, on November 2nd from 8 to 9, leading into Shark Tank at 9 o'clock. Coming up on the air tonight is the third and the final presidential debate between President Barack Obama and Republican candidate Mitt Romney. This is it. Voting is coming up in two weeks, and this is imperative for both candidates tonight, because right now, from what I've heard, the race looks like it could be very close. 
And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 22nd day of October. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone.